Okay, this is video number two, uh, progress on my buildlog.net uh, 2.x laser. Um, from last time, I got the, um, the pins uh, kind of more permanently connected. Uh, you can see I got the pin holders and, and uh, male uh, crimp pins, and that matches that heading or the header on the board, and I can just connect them in like that, and uh, that feeds directly into the uh, Polo stepper driver board. Um, and uh, right now I have this kind of queued up. It's uh, the power is uh, enabled, is uh, off for the motors, and um, so it's kind of randomized at a position right now. And um, uh, I've got the limit and homing uh, ability working on the laser. So um, here again I have my uh, text interface, and I can give it a G28. X zero, uh, Y zero, and that will home in the order of the pins. This is features that I've added to um, Gerbil and uh, and what I'm using now. So, so there it goes. It's going to home the the X axis first. Backs off. It'll home the Y axis next, and then it will return that uh, to the zero position that I set. Um, in addition, I uh, now have all three axes working, so if I do a G1 uh, X, say 500, Y uh, 200, Z 100, um, I can make all of the axes move at once. So here you go, all axes are moving, and that's what it does, so I can give it a uh, G1 X0, Y0, Z0, and it will return. So the Gerbil controller is working fairly well. Um, it, the motion control systems are pretty uh, solid in that code, um, but uh, it's really lacking in options and setup options, uh, um, and that's what I'm adding to the code. So if you want to go to GitHub, you can uh, search for Dirk the Eng um, on GitHub, and you can download my code. So...